Howdy folks, welcome to episode 18. Today we're going to uh, take off and we're going to head over to the other... Uh, I'll show you in a second here. We're going to head over and get some of the canned coxcomb on the way south. Now I would like to do a an airplane takeoff from this, but you end up taking off going the exact opposite direction and it would take forever to get a to do a 180 with this so you know in airplane mode so we're just gonna do this and let's see there we go we're gonna go to the trawler is where we're going and we have some wind don't we okay looks like it's I'm not sure why the debris is going the other way but yeah <laughs> there we go it, it, was it just me or does it look like the... Yeah, I guess the debris is kind of going the same direction as that. But yeah, we're going to go over to this trawler. We're going to grab some of the canned coxcomb so we can get that um, and bring it to the other place. Bring it to the uh, the south corner. What is it? The southeast corner. And uh, I, f I forget the name of that place. The um, Q&M or something like that. But yeah, we're going to go to that place and we should be able to make like 160 k on that delivery, which should be really cool. I think we can turn off the wind. It's going, okay, it's going from from the right. There we go, it's now on our radar. Apparently that outer ring is 10 kilometers. That'd be kind of cool if we could change the the distance of that ring too, wouldn't it? But yeah, let's get, uh, yeah, I guess we're not gonna be going too fast because we're, we're staying low to the ground, so that's fine. But yeah, at the end of the last, last episode, if you did not see it, um, I did, well, even if you did see it, I did, uh, <laughs> I did fix up the ship, and, let's see here, there we go, oops, why am I climbing so much? I shouldn't be climbing, why am I climbing so much? There we go. But yeah, I did fix up the ship and refuel and all that stuff at the end, the uh, at the end of that episode, and so should be here. Let's come back this way. Why is it? Okay, that's why. I'm totally disoriented because I'm looking downward at the ship instead of. Come on, <laughs> it's just blowing me downwind. I'm looking downward at the ship instead of uh, instead of from the back. Come on, you can do it. Apparently I'm going to need to, uh, yeah, we're going to need to, come on. Now all of a sudden I'm gaining tons of altitude. There we go. There we go. And it's above two kilometers. Okay, so I did find the file where that stuff is at. And it says low, medium, high, and extra low or something like that are the four settings. So there are four the ones at 700, 1500, 2500, and then 3100 are the are the ones that they have in there. There we go. So yeah, I did look in the um, I did look at the replay from the last game too, where we got blown up right as we landed. 2500. Are we gonna be able to take off? It's gonna be interesting. I'll tell you that much. Let's see what our weight is. I believe our maximum takeoff weight is 3,200. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have fun here. So we're gonna go like this. 32,000. That is. I think it was 32 and a half, but let's see. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I want to just burn off fuel after that. Let's go to let's go to 33. There we go. Okay, and because I don't remember if it was 33 or 34 or whatever, but let's see if we can take off here. This should be fun. Oh, and you know what? I need to go here, and I need to set. I need to set our waypoints. So what we're going to do is we're going to come south. Of we're going to avoid the mountains because I don't want to try going around the mountains. So we're going to go basically south until we hit that, and then go like that, and then come around this and then we're going to go to there so that's going to be our yeah and I mean honestly I could probably take out these waypoints just because I know where the land is and we're going to stay probably close to the land but yeah we'll try to do this so and then we'll try not to run into the cargo spaceway on the way there <laughs> and let's do this too while I'm here there we go 
All right, and there. All right, so we should be able to take off, and let's see if we can get this thing to, to take off. Now, I want to make sure that we can actually successfully keep climbing before I... Okay. It looks like, yeah, it looks like we're past, we're way past the ground effect. Yeah, okay. We're going to be able to keep climbing. All right, it, it just looks like we're going forward, doesn't it? Okay, and we're going to go, we're going to turn south. There we go. And we're going to get moving this way. We need to get some forward momentum before we try to kick in the, the wings. Otherwise, we just drop like a stone. So, yeah, it's going to be a little slow going here. But, and we're probably going to have to stop for fuel, but we'll see. Just need to get some altitude first. And it said 2,000, so that's the, the 1,500. So we're not going to be able to fly super high either. All right, so we're going to go like this and get going. I think you get a lot better fuel efficiency. And Oh, I forgot the flaps. I forgot to turn off the flaps. Okay. But yeah, you get a lot better fuel efficiency. Okay, we need, to, we need to definitely take it easy on the lift here, too. There we go. Come on. You can stop climbing now. There we go. All right. Let's try this again. <laughs> See if we can do it. There we go. Okay. And there's also, I believe, um, you can set the atmosphere density and all that stuff uh, in that file, too. I'll have to put an overlay saying what, what the name of that file is and its location and stuff, but if you want to dink around with... I like that, that. I mean, it's not necessarily like you can mod the game directly, but... Um, or at least that it's... It's not necessarily mod-friendly. You know, they haven't documented a lot of this stuff, but they did make it so that you can... You know, this stuff is exposed to, you know, people who want to uh, mess with text files and stuff. And I think we're going to try going a little slowly here and see if we can get up a little bit closer to the uh, to the ski level but so it should be at 1500 is it? yeah there it is okay so yeah we're gonna get because you get a little bit better fuel efficiency that way but yeah we're probably gonna have to stop and do like a drone whoa well, why when I do that it suddenly like really drops <laughs> there we go I still have to get used to the, how much this uh, this responds and not overcompensate. But yeah, we'll probably have to land on the continent, which is why we're going to skirt around the outside of it too, instead of just going over the ocean completely. Um, we're going to stay on the edge of the continent. There we go. Okay, so we are up to the 2500. We're going to start climbing here. It'll let us. Come on, you can do it. climb. There we go. And we're probably going to lay off the throttle even a little here. There we go. So yeah, you can see that, you know, you get a lot better uh, a lot better fuel efficiency at, at the higher altitudes, as you can see here. There we go. Upper circuit, I'll take the radar. So all we need to do is just follow the, the edge of the continent. As long as we can keep the edge of the continent in sight, we're fine. And when we get down to, you know, we haven't increased throttle, but we've gone up. We've gotten a lot of extra speed, about 50 more K, 50 more meters per second or whatever. Yeah, that should, that waypoint should be right over here. We've got five minutes of fuel left according to this. Go. So we should be we should be good. I think it cuts in about there. Get a little bit more altitude again. Probably drop a little more throttle too. There we go. Yeah, you can stay you can stay under it. Come on, stop. Stop climbing. <laughs> there we go. A little bit lower. There we go. Okay. Now we can level off, hopefully. So the thing is, is if you let up on the controls, it typically doesn't um, 
it doesn't just keep going in the same direction kind of thing it does uh it does kind of buffet you around and everything and so see like that it's it's doing that on its own so if you uh if you don't have constant input on it you're not gonna you're not gonna make it <laughs> put it that way all right we are down to five thousand fuel looks like we're gonna use about a thousand per minute so we have what three minutes there's our quarry and MT. Yeah, quarry MNT. It's 77 kilometers away. I'm not sure that we're going to make it that far on, on the amount of fuel that we have. We'll see. I don't know. We're, de we're making a decent speed anyway. We're at 73 to 45. Let's see what kind of a ratio we get. Because basically, once we get down to about 1,000 fuel, you do want to use that for landing. Um, if you have a rough landing or whatever, you're going to use up to 1,000 I found it anyway, at least I do the way I fly and stuff. So I do want to be careful about that. We're losing altitude here. Like this. Let's get some more altitude back. Yeah, it's 65 to 4,000. So what is that? One and a half. <laughs> right? Ah, uh, five days. More than five days. So when we get down to 3,000, we should be at, uh, or at 3,200. We should be at 32 plus, uh, or no, it's two and five days. Right, 64 and, yeah, I don't know. We're making, we're making fairly decent mileage, but I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're going to get all the way there. We're probably going to have to stop and land. But that's fine. I mean, you look at our... Um, I don't know if this steering that I'm doing in the air is why the steering wheelers are taking damage, if that's what it is. I'll have to watch and see when it's when that number changes. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's really... It's a tough call here because if we can stay at... Um, If we could stay at 2,500, when we get down to like 20 kilometers, we can post anyway. So, I don't know, it's going to be close. 245. Because, yeah, when we, get, when we get into 20 kilometers, we can pretty much start posting. And, I don't know, we might have to land right next door. And I mean, we're probably going to end up having to call the drone anyway. Yeah, we'll see when we're down to 2,400. We're gonna end up probably gonna end up having to call the drone anyway, um, because this doesn't have a repair station, and I'm gonna want to repair the thing. So, probably. So we may end up just landing anyway, just for the fun of it. But we've got 1,000 fuel left to get 20k. Oh man, I don't know if you guys remember the finale of last season, but we totally did a. Um, <laughs> We totally did a coast in and land on fumes kind of thing. Uh-oh. We are going over ocean, too. <laughs> I forgot about that. We're going over ocean at the end, too, so I better have enough fuel to make it. <laughs> right? I'm going to be in real trouble if I don't have enough fuel to make it. I think we're going to slow down here a little bit. Drop our fuel consumption here. There we go. And actually, what am I doing? We can coast here. We can actually coast because we need to slow down anyway. We need to start losing speed. Yeah, we got we got plenty. We'll be fine. Go. See, it uses it uses some for for idling, but there we go. Now we can start descending. And once I get down past 150, I can start using the flaps, too. I'm not sure if I'll even get the opportunity to do that because we're not losing speed that quickly. Go. And we can put down the flaps. There we go. Should help us not lose 
altitude so quickly. There we go. Okay, so now we can come in like this. Which way is our wind going? Okay, that works. So I want to do this. I want to do this. Come on. And we're going to level off. There we go. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Strafe over a little bit. There we are. It's just about right. Just about right. Let the wind carry us in the rest of the way. There we go. Come on, wind. You can do it. Oh, look at that. How beautiful was that? <laughs> that was perfect. All right. And I can probably even move forward a little bit here. There we go. All right. So we have, we had 604 fuel up. See, we had plenty. <laughs> Let's sell this. 300,000 and we can recharge. We can recharge. I think the only damage is actually to the steering wheel. So I think we're actually fine as far as that goes. And what was the thing we had? Tritium water? I think we might try it. We could try another trip of that. I'm not sure. Uh, and let's sell this too. Now we have... We have how much? Uh, we have 346,000. I need to look at all the upgrades and stuff, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy uh, Bellina, and we can probably trade ships here and there, and we can probably do some missions with the Bellina. And so let's check out the map. And yeah, see, it didn't... I missed a waypoint. I missed the first waypoint. There we go. So who sells the... They sell the Bellina, and they also, they want the... See, because we have those carbon carbon structural plates and stuff. I want to try to bring those to there. So I think we will try getting the Bellina and then putting big engines on it and see if we can... See what kind of heavy lift capacity we can get out of the Bellina. And they want primary praseodymium and they have it. I don't think we can carry it though. If, if I'm uh, not mistaken, let me see. Oh no, we can carry that. Okay, we're gonna take this. We're gonna go over to the other uh, base and drop that off and then we're gonna buy a Bellina. And let me double check where else is selling them because the that mining one the south mining one I think is also selling them so let's go check that and I think you can even do yeah you can do this on the map too cool is there a zoom in and out nope nope there's not a zoom in and out okay so there's Livermore are they selling no they just sell the the scarab they don't sell ships at all they don't sell the Bellina I think they sell all of them yeah they sell it and a bunch of stuff and what do they sell? Just the Scarab. Yeah, I think this is our best bet. This one right here. Because they're going to give us um, another 12000 So that's another 10000 for the trip. And what was the other one over here? Or was it this one that sells the Bellina? No? I think it, oh, it was the Cargo. And what do they have? They want... They don't even want those. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go to this one and sell that stuff. And then we'll go here and buy the Bellina. So I think we have time to make that trip. Yeah. So let's get going. Let's head up north. Yeah, we've got some damage. Battery is at 88. Wow, this is really heavy load, isn't it? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to dump some fuel, I think. Because if you see the orange. The orange line. What is that? G. Let's do this until our orange line comes down. There we go. All right. <laughs> now we can. Now we can uh, get moving. And hopefully we'll get some altitude before the uh, before the wind blows us into the mountains. Right. Where is our north? There we go. And. Did we set we set a waypoint, didn't we? There we go. There's the research platform. It's left of that. There we go. All right. 
For some reason, my map is like rotated. My internal map is rotated from where this one is. But yeah, we're gonna get some altitude. Let's see. Go like this, dump some more fuel, and I need a button for that. I don't know if I don't know if I set one. I don't want to start hitting random buttons because some of them make you crash. <laughs> Some of them make you do your ship do bad things. So I don't want to start hitting random buttons. But I need to see if I have a button mapped to uh, to fuel dump. Because if I do, then I think I can pretty much get rid of the keyboard. There we go. The trick with this one is that this flight it, that is is that you go over the um, you go over the mountains. There's not much of a uh, go around the sea kind of thing like there is with other with other ones. Come on. You can climb. There we go. And we're going to go like this. 30, 40, 50. There we go. Okay, take the flaps up. Alright, we're good now. And I believe our ski limit is still... The ski's the limit. <laughs> it's still way up there. Did we really dump that much fuel? I dumped like half of it. <laughs> Apparently. All right, I suppose we still got we've got time to make it there. We've got enough to make it there, especially if we climb up here to the higher ski thing, and then we can coast our way back down. So yeah, I probably spent all the all the uh, fuel that I dumped, <laughs> spend all that money, and then put it in the fuel tank and dump it. Yeah, we're almost there. Let's see. What are they what's the crosstalk now? I didn't catch what they were talking about this time. Alright, we're getting close. Uh, we can start throttling back, I think. Start throttling back. Go. I've got how many minutes? I can't decide how many minutes of fuel I have left. There we go. There. Straighten out a little bit. And then we can go to the big crater mine. After that and buy our big ship. So we're going to buy the big ship and get some upgrades for it and see what we can do as far as... Like the other thing is we can go back down to that thing and we can pick up... Um, we can pick up that ore that's laying on the ground so it's another thing you can do it's just that big ship is so uh <laughs> so much more uh troubling to fly and everything especially compared to what you get out of it but i'll have to try it again it's been a while so i'll give it another shot here which way is the wind okay the wind's going this way this. Man, that is some serious crosswind, isn't it? Go like this. Thrust up. And then we can drop it down as we... Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. How pretty was that? Okay, and then we can gently turn around here. Gently turn around. There we go. Look how much fuel we use just turning around, right? <laughs> nope. Because I'm going to buy a new ship, and you can't do that with passengers. All right. There we go. Turned around. We got blown up off course a little bit, but that's okay. We can go like this, and yeah, now we should be able to just back into the space. There we go. Alright, so we can sell that. And, yep, 12,000. There we go. I don't know, um, when you when you put your ship in storage, when you, when you buy an extra ship, I don't know if when you bring your ship back out of storage, if it's fueled or not. We're going to have to find out. So let's get some fuel. 
Okay, and then we're going to, um, let's see what they have here. They just want the carbon, carbon and structural. Okay, so we're gonna head over to this one. And there we go. And yeah, we're gonna buy the Bellina. So, and I think that's gonna be it for episode 18 because we are running out of time here. So yeah, that's gonna be it for episode 18. I'm gonna land over here at the mine on the outro for you. And uh, I will go buy the Bellina and we can start next episode with the Bellina because I don't think you guys want to watch me buy it. <laughs> I think I, I can show you which upgrades I got and everything, you know, when we start, but uh, if I bought any upgrades. But yeah, I'll, I'll do that on the uh, between episodes so I don't bore you to death with the animations and everything. And uh, yeah, and then we can come back and we can start doing some missions with the Bellina. So that's going to be it for episode 18. Join me in episode 19 and we will see you then. Later.